Hello, everyone. This is uh, Professor Decker, uh, University of Nebraska, Omaha, Department of Economics, uh, College of Business, uh, coming to you with uh, a short video that provides an update of um, uh, some of the work that I've been doing looking at uh, weekly initial claims for unemployment in the state of Nebraska and the city of Omaha. Um, if you've been following some of these videos, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, provided a short video on uh, initial claim, uh, claims for unemployment and how useful that statistic is as a leading indicator uh, with the goal of trying to figure out when will jobs be coming back as we uh, work our way through this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, weekly claims are, uh, again, a very good leading indicator because they give us an idea of, of the possibility that jobs will be coming back. If we see claims uh, declining, that means that fewer people are losing their jobs. And as a result, we might be seeing uh, some uh, return to the labor force of, uh, of a number of uh, individuals. Um, over the last few weeks, we've seen some declines. If you recall, in late March and early uh, April, uh, unemployment claims spiked when the economy shut down and, and businesses were forced to uh, uh, close and many uh, employees were furloughed, some employees were laid off. We just saw enormous spikes uh, both nationally and state and citywide. As a result of that, over the last few weeks, we've seen some declines. So with that in mind, I put together a model, you'll recall, where I'm trying to predict uh, weekly claims for unemployment, weekly initial claims for unemployment. And to give you an idea how that model is going and how the data seems to be uh, revealing itself to us, um, just today, uh, here sitting on the 4th of June, uh, we got some information from the Nebraska Department of Labor indicating that uh, the most re recent week's worth of initial claims for unemployment uh, was about 5,084. Uh, the previous week, we were at 5,790 people filing uh, initial claims for unemployment compensation. Now, to put this into some context with respect to my model, two weeks ago, my model had predicted about 5,674, so I'd actually over-predicted, I'm sorry, under-predicted, rather, uh, how many uh, uh, new claims we would see. Uh, with a rate, most recent data, uh, I had predicted about 5,190 in terms of uh, weekly uh, initial claims, uh, which was an over prediction by about 106 uh, people. So over the last couple of weeks, the models performed very well and the trend is what we like to see. We like to see this decline in these claims. That means that fewer people are losing their jobs uh, the fact that the model's performing very well does provide some confidence that over the next few weeks, uh, what the model's predicting in terms of uh, new claims is uh, believable. Uh, it seems uh, believable. I think by this time next week, um, we will see uh, uh, initial claims for uh, unemployment compensation below 5,000 for the first time in a number of weeks. And I think that trend will continue to decline. And as we go through the remainder of the summer and even through the remainder of this year, I really believe that we will continue to see those initial claims fall back towards trend. Uh, if we're able to keep the um, virus under control, if we can avoid another shutdown, if we can avoid hesitancy on the part of consumers to come back and spend, um, I think we're poised for uh, a recovery, uh, at least the way things are looking right now. So the model's performing well, and I've got some confidence that this trend will continue. It may slow, but we are uh, approaching a long-term trend. We should ultimately see initial claims uh, trending to probably about 1,500 eventually. It'll take a while to get there. Uh, these numbers are still very, very large, but they are coming down nowhere near the, the 25,000, the 16,000, the 12,000 that we saw earlier. Um, with respect to Omaha in particular, I'm looking here at Douglas Sarpy in Washington County, so I'm not looking right now at Potawatomi uh, with this, but um, the data has been also trending down. We've seen a, a dramatic drop in initial claims, uh, some slowing of that drop, but still the trend is negative, and I think all that 
is good news for the, the city's job market uh, as well. Uh, I have begun to produce some forecasts uh, for weekly claims for unemployment for the city of Omaha. Um, I think we would be close to 2,000, uh, maybe even below 2,000 uh, by this time next week. Uh, time will tell when the Nebraska Department of Labor releases that data next Thursday. Um, it's quite possible that we will be uh, below 2,000. Certainly around 2,000 is what my current uh, forecast is for next week and for the week following um, about 1900, maybe 1850, between 1850 and 1900, let's say. Um, about 40 to 41 percent of the total um, states' um, initial claims for unemployment compensation seem to be coming from Douglas, Washington, and Sarpy counties. Uh, given that's where uh, most of the jobs reside, it's not too surprising that percentage is high. Uh, it was very low uh, some time back. It's kind of settled to about 40 to 42 percent. We'll see if that that trend continues as well. But again, I think these are generally speaking good uh, signs for our economy. And it's probably not too soon that we're seeing some of these good signs. Um, you might recall in a previous video when I was talking about updating the jobs forecast, the employment forecast uh, at a monthly frequency for the, the state and the city. I showed you some pretty scary graphs. And these are just replications of those graphs. Uh, April was a really bad month. Not too surprising, and that's where we saw most of the uh, initial claims spike. That's where we saw most of the job losses take place. Uh, and the initial report that came out of the uh, US Bureau of Labor Statistics showed that uh, Nebraska lost just about all the jobs it had gained over the last 12 years or so uh, in one month's time. Just a precipitous drop. Similar story for Omaha. Uh, April is a very bad year. I'm sorry, bad month. Um, now, as we look at that data, the natural question is, knowing what we know about weekly claims over the month of May, what does the job outlook be? Uh, look like for uh, the month of May. And I think that there are reasons to believe we could start seeing some rebounding here in terms of jobs. So uh, we got a phased uh, reopening going on. Some people are coming back off from furlough, for example. So I do think that uh, the next uh, data point we see, assuming this number for the state doesn't get revised and assuming this number for the city doesn't get uh, revised, we we'll probably see May coming in a little bit stronger with some initial growth um, relative to April, absent any kind of uh, unpredictable revision. Uh, again, we also have that evidence I just showed you on initial claims to support that. So we got a phased reopening. We've got the decline in initial claims for unemployment uh, compensation going on. I also want to point out something else in the data that does get released on a weekly basis that doesn't receive as much attention uh, and that's this um, data series that the Nebraska Department of Labor classifies as continuing claims. The idea here is to track those individuals who are uh, on uh, unemployment, who are receiving unemployment compensation uh, week after week. They're continually unemployed. They are looking for work, um, but haven't found anything as of yet. Here the trend is downward as well. And I think this is also a very good side. Uh, of uh, uh, good news, I think, for uh, May. May come in as a pretty good, uh, relative to April anyway, uh, a good employment uh, data point. Um, the number of Nebraskans that are continuing to receive unemployment compensation seems to be declining. Now, this decline could be due to two different things. One is people are leaving the labor force, they're becoming discouraged and can't find anything, which makes them ineligible, uh, ineligible rather, for unemployment compensation, or they've come back they found a job. They're either off furlough or they found other employment. Uh, I think it's the latter. I think this downward trend is more of an indication of the latter. Uh, we continue to see these declines. We were at about, oh, uh, 70,000 total uh, Nebraskans uh, on unemployment uh, back towards the end of April. Right now, we're at a little over 57,000. So uh, we've seen some jobs coming back. If this data holds up, I think this means that May and maybe even June uh, will look 
pretty good relative to April in terms of uh, employment. So what does this suggest then? Well, from my perspective, I do think we're going to see uh, some jobs come back in May and June relative to April. Right now, my base forecast is suggesting we could get 4,000 jobs back in May, 2,000 jobs back for the city uh, in May, an additional 7,000 in the state, additional 7,000 in uh, the city. It's possible these are conservative estimates given the drop in uh, continued claims, given the uh, rapid drop in initial claims, uh, given the phase reopening, it's quite possible that May could look even stronger, but uh, at least conservatively speaking, I think we could get um, uh, 4,000 jobs back. The way I'm uh, interpreting the data uh, seems to be suggesting uh, the start of a rebound. It may be slow going. It may feel like we're marching through the mud uh, for a few months. Um, but I think so long as we're able to maintain some control over the spread of the virus to discourage um, its spread, uh, to give businesses confidence that they can remain open and that consumers will continue to come, uh, I think we may be poised for the start of a recovery. It may take a while, but I think we're, I think we're uh, on the right track. So. Uh, what I'm going to need to do, of course, and what I think all, all of us should try to do is to continue to monitor COVID uh, cases, see if the phased reopening is uh, going to hold up. Uh, some recent events, some of the mass demonstrations that we've seen in Omaha and across the country, uh, there's some unknowns here. Uh, could some of this activity delay some business reopenings? It's possible. Will COVID cases spike as a result of these demonstrations where people are in close proximity to one another and allows the, the virus to spread more rapidly? That Those are, those are possibilities and, and, and they're worth watching uh, to see what impact this might ultimately have uh, on the economy. Um, so I think those are things to, to watch going forward. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic at this point that we do have a recovery starting. I think the data is moving in that direction. Now, tomorrow, Friday the uh, 5th of June, we'll see the national employment data come out for the month of May. We'll get our first look at May nationally. Um, time will tell whether uh, or not uh, the trends we see for the nation tomorrow are, are mimicked at the state and city level. Uh, be a couple of weeks yet before we actually see some initial estimates for employment for the month of May in Nebraska and the city of Omaha. Um, but I do plan on monitoring that data when it comes out and providing an update to my forecast at that time. Um, so with that, uh, I will uh, close this video out with the uh, primary message that right now the data is pointing in a generally positive direction for our economy, uh, but again, um, only time will tell and we will be looking uh, closely at uh, the uh, subsequent data that will come out. I'll come back with an update on weekly uh, claims in another couple of weeks or so, and uh, we'll be coming up with an employment uh, uh, video in the next couple of weeks as well. So thank you for your attention and um, uh, I look forward to sharing uh, more of this information with you in the future.